Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends, get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Good morning, viewers. Thank God for another day. We welcome you to the third Saturday in the year 2022. Once again, I wish you happy and prosperous New Year. This morning, we want to begin the day with the Lord, with the Word of God Almighty. Take your Bible and your daily devotionals and you call your families together and let's begin the day together with the Word of God. 1 Corinthians chapter 4. 1 Corinthians chapter 4. And I read from verse 1. This then is how you ought to regard us as servants of Christ and as those entrusted with the mysteries God has revealed. Now, it is required that those who have been given a trust must prove faithful. I care very little if any man, if I am judged by you or by any human court. Indeed, I do not even judge myself. My conscience is clear, but that does not make me innocent. It is the Lord who judges me. Therefore, judge nothing before the appointed time. Wait until the Lord comes. He will bring to light what is hidden in darkness and will expose the motives of the heart. At that time, each will receive their praise from God. Now, brothers and sisters, I have applied these things to myself and Apollos for your benefit so that you may learn from us the meaning of saying, do not go beyond what is written. Then you will not be puffed up in being a follower of one of us over against the other. For who makes you different from anyone else? What do you have that you did not receive? And if you did receive it, why do you boast as though you did not? Already I have all what have all you want. Already you have all you want. Already you have become rich. You have begun to reign and that without us. How I wish that you really had begun to reign so that we also might reign with you. For it seems to me that God has put us apostles on display at the end of the procession, like those condemned to die in the arena. We have been made a spectacle to the whole universe, to angels as well as to human beings. We are fools for Christ, but you are so wise in Christ. We are weak, but you are strong. You are honored, we are dishonored. To this very hour, we go hungry and thirsty. We are in rags. We are brutally treated. We are homeless. We work hard with our hands. When we are cursed, we bless. When we are persecuted, we endure it. When we are slandered, we answer kindly. When we have become the scorn of the earth, the garbage of the world, right up to this moment. I am writing this 
not to shame you, but warn you as their children, even if you had 10,000 guardians in Christ, you do not have many fathers. For in Christ Jesus, I became your father through the gospel. Therefore, I urge you to imitate me. For this reason, I have sent to you, Timothy, my son, whom I love, who is faithful in the Lord. He will remind you of my way of life in Christ Jesus, which agrees with what I teach everywhere in every church. Some of you have become arrogant, as if I were not coming to you, but I will come to you very soon. If the Lord is willing, and then I will find out not only how these arrogant people are talking, but what power they have. For the kingdom of God is not a matter of talk, but of power. What do you prefer? Shall I come to you with a road of discipline, or shall I come in love and with a gentle spirit? This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This morning, our topic for devotion is Servants of Christ. Servants of Christ. The key word here is servant. The question now is who is a servant? The dictionary defines servant as a person who works in another person's house. He works in another person's house as a cook, as a cleaner, etc. He do many things for them. Or a person who works in a company or an organization. Or a person or thing controlled by something else or some person. Praise the Lord. In our text, Paul was the addressing a crucial issue in the Corinthian church. And the same issue, the Lord is addressing it in the church of today. Who are we as Christians? Who are we? We are just but mere servants of Christ. Now going by the definition of servant, a servant is there to carry out the mandate, the instructions of his master. He does not have a choice. He does not have a choice an option of how to do it. If the master say it must be done this way, that is the way he should do it. Today, many of us Christians have become puffed off, especially those of us who are ministers of the gospel. We assume the position of the master. We have taken to ourselves the honor that is not for us. Now in chapter, verse 1 of our text, Paul said this. This is how you ought to regard us. You are to regard us as servants of Christ. We are servants that are there to do the tax demanded the assignment of our master. We have been entrusted with the mystery that God has revealed. Mysteries of the kingdom of God. That is what the Lord has entrusted us with. And therefore, as servants, we should know this. Verse 2 tells us something. It says, 
it is required that those who have been given a trust must prove faithful. The question now is, how faithful are we in our stewardship, in our service to the Lord as Christians, as ministers of the gospel? How faithful are we? How faithful are we? It is our faithfulness that God will reward. It is our commitment to this work that produces positive results. At the end of the day, we should be able to say we are unprofitable servants because we do not deserve it. In Isaiah chapter 42, verse 8, there the Lord Almighty says that he is the Lord. That's his name. And his glory he will not give to any man. Neither will he share his praise with any image, with any idol. Isaiah 42, verse 8. Today, many of us Christians and ministers of the gospel in particular have assumed the position of God. We have taken the glory of God that is due to God only to ourselves. And we made our members, we made our parishioners to see us as all-powerful, almighty, to the extent that many of them are not even able to pray to the Lord by themselves. They must come through us. Brethren, let us not be idol, idols to those who we are supposed to lead to Christ. We should point people to Christ and not to ourselves. We should draw men to Christ and not to ourselves. We are just channels, we are just instruments. We are just means by which the Lord will reach to his people. It is possible that by the grace of God, you led someone to Christ, or you delivered someone, or through your prayers, someone has received a solution to his problem or her problem. That does not mean you have become his or her God. Point him always to the Lord Almighty. Point her to the Lord Almighty. Let us point our hearers, our congregation, our parishioners to the Lord Almighty. As Christians, we are mere stewards. The Lord has entrusted us with the duty of leading others, revealing to others the mystery that has been hidden from the people of the world to be revealed only to those who are in Christ. And so when the Lord uses you to reveal the mystery, don't assume the position you are not supposed to assume because it is the Lord's position. And so here Paul said, as leaders, we are to be examples to others. We are to be examples to others. In humility, we are to be examples. In righteousness, we are to be examples. In holiness, we are supposed to be examples. Don't receive the praise that is due to God. Don't receive the honor that is due to God. Don't seek and beg for the praise of men. Yours is to do your duty as a servant of God, as a servant of Christ. Servants only carry out the mandate of their masters. And so this morning, as we go out, know it that you are a servant of the Lord. 
and God have entrusted you with responsibility that you bring others to him, that you teach others his word, that you are the light others will see through which they will glorify him who is our father in heaven. What is your life like? In this new year, as we begin the new year, the Lord is teaching us to be humble enough. Let's take the path of humility. The Bible says if we humble ourselves before the Lord, he will lift us up. Humble yourself before the Lord Almighty. And as you humble yourself before the Lord Almighty, the Lord Almighty will lead, he lift you up. When a servant serves his master faithfully, even though from the beginning he is not expecting anything, at the end of the day, the master will come. The Bible says he is the rewarder of all. And so he will give to the servant the reward that is due unto him. Do not seek to receive the reward before time. But wait, because there is time for everything. And when the time comes, the master will definitely reward you. He will definitely reward you. As a servant of the Lord, as the minister of the gospel, the people the Lord has placed under your leadership, they are God's people. Just as God told Moses in the book of Exodus, chapter 3, when he sent him to Egypt to deliver the Israelites from the hands of Pharaoh and the Egyptians, he said, Come, I will send you to my people, Egypt, to deliver my people, Israel. We are just shepherding the people of the Lord. And we should care and nurture them effectively. Let us give them the right understanding of whom God is, not projecting ourselves. Whatever position you occupy here on earth was given to you. And in the Bible where we read, the Bible says, What do you have that you have not received? And if you receive it, why then do you Pride yourselves as if you did not receive it. Why then do you behave as if it was not given to you? Are you a general overseer? Are you a bishop? Are you an archdeacon? Are you a vicar of the church? These positions were given to you. God himself gave you this position for the purpose of leading his people. And you must not mismanage this privilege. Use it effectively. Point the people to the Lord. Because on the last day, the Lord Almighty will come to reward those who faithfully served him. Verse 2 says, It is expected of those who have been trusted to prove faithful. As we go out today, I want you to ask yourself this question. How faithful am I in the service of the Lord? How faithful am I in the service of the Lord? As the vicar of the church, as an archdeacon, as a clergy, as a Christian, how faithful am I in the service of the Lord? There are still people outside there that need to come to Christ. We must, as a matter of fact, point them to Christ. And we must be diligent and faithful in doing that. We must be diligent and faithful in doing it. Because as the servant of the Lord, in verse 9, Paul says, 
For it seems to me that God has put us apostles on display at the end of the process, like those condemned to die in the arena. How do we, what does he mean here? As a servant, you have been placed on display. Let people see you and see Christ through you. And so, as Paul told the Corinthian Christians to imitate him, servants of the Lord, let's live a life that others will imitate and reach to Christ. I pray that this morning, as we go, the Lord Almighty will give us the grace to live as his servant, and that through his grace, we will be able to bring others to his kingdom in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's bow our heads in prayers. Almighty God, we thank you, Lord, for the gift of another day. Lord, you have brought us to a new day. This day is very new to us. We don't know it before now, but you know it. And so, Lord, we ask that you lead us through this day, the 15th day of January, the year 2022. Lead us through it in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray, O oh God, for the grace, O oh God, to live as your servant and that we'll be able, O oh Lord, to draw others to you. We pray, Father, that we will not project ourselves. Give us the spirit of humility in the name of Jesus Christ. And Lord, as we humble ourselves, Father, you will lift us up. On the last day, O oh God, you will, O oh God, reward us accordingly in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray, O oh God, for those who have heard your word through me today, as many, O oh God, as have not made it right with you. Father, I pray that you give them the grace to make it right in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray, O oh God, for your servants, O oh God, those of us who you have placed in the leadership of your church. Father, give us the spirit of humility. Help us to be humble enough that at the end, your name will be glorified and blessing shall be ours. Thank you, Jesus, for answering our prayers. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. God bless you and have a blessed weekend. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of The Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ACNNTV. Visit our website www.acnntv.com.